Indian River Lagoon is our backyard, our favorite place to swim, fish, and spend time with our family and friends. It's a place we know and love and hope to see our own kids one day. However, we may not get the chance if we don't make changes now. The estuary is in bad shape, but what does that mean for us? The effects of polluted water and diminishing marine life don't just end when we return to shore. The critical state of our ecosystem poses a serious threat to our personal lives, especially our health. Runny eyes, breathing problems, and memory lapses are only some of the effects of the algae blooms that are caused by nutrient loading into our water. When we're out by the water, I always want to jump in and cool off, but my mom won't let me because she says it's too polluted. The link between human health and pollution is strong, and future generations may not have a chance to enjoy this beautiful and once healthy place. Many people enjoy eating fish caught in the lagoon, but dangerous amounts of PCB and mercury are accumulating in fish and shellfish, making them unsafe to eat. There's nothing I love more than fishing with my friends, but it's becoming harder to eat what we catch because it's coming from such a polluted source. Pollution in the lagoon affects our food source. Imagine not being able to eat anything from the lagoon, or worse, there being nothing left to eat. The condition of the Indian River Lagoon not only affects our health, but also generates billions of dollars towards our economy each year. Think of all the recreation, tourism, and real estate businesses that rely on the lagoon to stay afloat. They are all threatened by the impacts of pollution. The entire region depends on the health of the Indian River Lagoon. Without a healthy lagoon, there wouldn't be a healthy economy. The Indian River Lagoon is in critical condition, but it's not too late to save it. We can continue to enjoy this precious resource if we maintain sustainable practices. Orca scientists are working to solve the problems in the lagoon, and local students are working alongside these experts. We can all work together to restore our beautiful ecosystem so we can continue to enjoy it for generations to come. If you'd like to find out how you can help, visit teamorca.org.